I'm going to show you how to build a hand washing station uh, that is really cheap and easy to make. Uh, it costs under five dollars. You can make it with tools at home and you can make it for yourself, your family and friends. When uh, You can use it when you go camping. You can put one up at a farmer's market and I designed this especially so you can make a whole bunch of them and keep, say, three or four stacked in someone's garage in case there's a disaster. Because in a disaster, you think about the, di the stuff that makes it a disaster, buildings falling down or whatever. But you also need to think about keeping everyone's hands clean so they don't get sick. You don't want to survive the disaster and die of dysentery. That would be ironic. And it's so easily prevented with hand washing like one of these. What's this made of? It's a five gallon bucket. And five gallon buckets are free because in the US, um, any establishment that receives foodstuffs in, in a bucket, in a container of any kind, is not legally allowed to reuse the container. So uh, either it goes in the landfill or it goes to you for free. So this is a good time to make friends with your local deli, restaurant, bakery, whatever. Um, try to get the lid with the bucket because these cost two bucks if you need to find a separate lid. The other basic part is a spigot. This is called a cooler spigot because it goes up and down, uh, different from the um, uh, the spigot you've probably seen that goes around. This one is easy to operate remotely by a string um, and it also saves a lot of water because uh, it's easy to turn off just by letting up on the string. Um, and this is operated by a foot pedal made with a scrap of wood. And I'm pulling on the foot pedal, it pulls on the string, it pulls the spigot up. When I let up on the pressure, it, uh, it, it re the spigot closes again. Now I'm letting the water fall on the uh, concrete because I'm outside, but if you want to use it inside, you can just put a, another bucket in under it and the water falls into the bucket. Um, I haven't measured how much water I use uh, washing my hands with this, but it's very little. You can get a lot of hand washings out of one bucket before someone has to fill it back up. We've also got soap, soap on a string, and when the water level gets low in this, the pull on the string can pull it forward. So I use the bucket handle that comes with the bucket and tie it to something behind the bucket, in this case, part of the table. Um, so, oh, and important part, the string from the spigot runs up through these two drapery hooks. They're called um, heavy duty offset drapery hooks. They are my contribution to this design. The basic design came from uh, an organization on the Oregon coast called the EVCNB, Emergency Volunteer Corps of Nehalem Bay. And they uh, give 
uh, instructions to make these to all the residents of their community so that everyone has one and understands how it works. Um, they uh, used uh, initially uh, uh, spring, uh, spring rings and then they tried eye bolts and so my contribution is using um, drapery hooks which are very cheap um, and easy to install. Um, the spigot costs um, two to three dollars but you can get it down to a buck thirty in bulk. The drapery hooks are 15 cents each. Uh, bucket is free, so this is under five bucks. And let me show you how to make one. <laughs>